have been following your career on our website have asked these questions, and we will be mentioning each of them by name. But first, let me do a brief intro. We are today at your Inkling Studios here in Dallas, Texas. But I understand you will be shortly traveling to Goa, India with the Motorbikes India team to attend India Bike Week. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I'm very excited to go to Goa. This will be my first trip to India, and I'm just very honored to come with Motorbikes India. That's wonderful. You know, apparently there could be as many as 25,000 bikers uh, attending, and they all look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. So how does that make you feel? Oh, very excited. I'm very honored. This is uh, an opportunity of a lifetime for me. I look forward to meeting the fans and meeting the people of India and seeing the great country. Well, for one, I'm very jealous. India Bike Week is the major biking event of the year. And it's such a beautiful location as Goa, which I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time at. I know I will. Wonderful. So let's get on with the questions that our, your fans have sent in. Uh, the first one is from Sarvanan Murugalia, who asks, what is your top speed and which is your favorite speed trial bike? Well, my favorite speed trial bike is this motorcycle behind me. It is a Suzuki Hayabusa, turbocharged. My top speed aboard it is 246 miles per hour. And so that is definitely my all-time favorite. I set my first record on it, and I've set my highest record on it. Our next question comes from Arjun Doke. And the question is, I would like to know how you got attracted towards riding, and when did you finally decide to make a career of it? Well, motorcycles, I happened on by accident. I started riding at 16 years old. I had a neighbor that had a motorcycle. I bought it as a cheap means of transportation, and I fell in love with it. I think mostly because everyone I knew said I would never be able to ride it, uh, and motorcycles are not for girls. So just to be defiant, I rode this motorcycle everywhere, and I absolutely loved it. When I got several speeding tickets, uh, around 19 years of age, I had a friend of mine that said, I should be on the, on the track and start racing. And I did. I fell in love with it. And it started out as a pastime and grew into a full-time career. And I feel very fortunate to live something, uh, be able to make a living off of, off of a dream and a passion of mine. Absolutely. And our next question comes from Ramnath. Is there any particular incident or any person who might have inspired you to be a biker? Oh, I've had several inspirations along the way. Uh, many friends and uh, that, that rode motorcycles. There are also greats at, at Bonneville, like Marsha Holly was one of the first in going fast uh, for women in motorcycling at the Bonneville Salt Flats. And of course, Burt Monroe, who the World Fastest Indian movie came from. Um, these, there's so many wonderful riders that, that really were role models for me. Our next question comes from Zomai Rante, and it's a two-part question. After holding three land speed records, what is your next ambition? And when do you think of you will be retiring from racing? Well, my next ambition is to, of course, set another record. I'm in the middle of building another motorcycle. I'm going after a different record in a different class. I love the challenge of, of building something to go out and race out there. Uh, there's so many, many different things that I can do with the motorcycle. So it's a new challenge in building up a new motorcycle and, and pushing its limits. And as for retirement, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, as of now, I will continue to ride motorcycles. The next question comes from Alta. Isn't it tough being the speediest woman biker in the world? Well, you know, it's funny. There are a lot of people that say, oh, women shouldn't be on motorcycles. And it's very different. But... Uh, I've, I've mostly been met with very positive things.
through my motorcycling career a lot of great support and I've been able to mentor other riders. Um, encourage women to get into motorcycling and sports in general. Uh, it's been, been so amazing for me. It is unbelievable to be out there on the salt, uh, especially like the motorcycle behind me that I set the record on. It has about 500 horsepower. It's turbocharged. The, the roar of the engine and the speed is, is a rush that is unlike any other. So it's something that's so very hard to explain. It's almost spiritual. It's, it's, uh, I have no time to think of anything else but to focus on doing my job as being a, a good rider. So it's, it's the biggest rush I've ever had. Our next question comes from B. Karunakaran. Which bike do you like to drive personally? What year, make, model, etc.? Well, I have a CBR 1000 RR. I love to ride that on the road. It's a, a, a very versatile machine. And then I also have a 1966 Yamaha 180. It's a little two-stroke. It's certainly not as fast as my race bikes, but it is so much fun. We have another two-part question from Dinesh Makwana. What is in your mind when you start the bike and you're going for a new record? And who are you when you're not riding a bike? Well, when I start the bike and I am ready for a record run, the only thing that goes through my mind is exactly what I need to do to make the perfect run and go as fast as I can, as safely as possible. And I really have no time to think of anything else, which is one wonderful thing about riding and racing motorcycles. And who are you when you're not riding a bike? When I'm not riding a motorcycle, I am a mom. I have twin five-year-olds. I have a wonderful husband, and I work on motorcycles. I've currently got a couple of projects that I'm, I'm building. I'm, I'm doing some restoring of some classic motorcycles, uh, building a little cafe racer, and of course, my next race project. The next question comes from Pyro Pictures. How do you feel when you wake up in the morning and what runs through your mind when you throttle up your motorbike? Well, every morning is pretty good. I'm a morning person, so uh, I love getting up in the morning. Um, my days are exciting. When I get on my motorcycle, it's very peaceful. I love the fact that you don't have to deal with phones ringing and people in the car and things. It's, it's a great thing to have my helmet on and be able to feel at one with the nature. I smell the things, I feel the air. I, it, it's just uh, a very calming effect for me. It's almost um, therapeutic. Our next question comes from Sairam Sai. Do you feel scared when you're riding over 200 miles an hour? Now, no, I don't at the time. There are times that after getting off of a motorcycle and after having a crazy run, I, I looked back on it and thought, oh my goodness, that was just crazy. Uh, but at the time, even going over 200 miles an hour and even things like I threw a rod through the cases at 240 miles per hour, I've had a flat tire at 230, I've, I've had many many issues on my runs, but I think that's one of the things that makes me a good racer is I, I stay very focused. There's no time to panic. It's all just reacting the best way I can, keeping calm and getting through my run and doing the best I can. Afterwards, thinking back on it, there were some scary times, but uh, when I'm on my motorcycle, the only thing I can think about is doing well and being successful. Our next question comes from Aditya Singh. What's on your mind while riding generally, not when you're racing or breaking records? Well, I think for me, for riding, uh, when I'm riding on the streets, that is my, that's my time to myself. And that's more of a time for me to clear my head. 
because I do stay very busy with the you know the family business. Um, that is my my time of solitude to kind of clear my head and get balanced. The next question comes from Subin K. Rajan. What did you feel like when you broke your first speed record, and how do you feel about coming to India for the first time? Well, my first land speed record that I broke uh, got me into the 200 mile an hour club, the first woman on a motorcycle to do so. Uh, it was a, a huge honor, it had been over 60 years, and no women on motorcycles had been admitted, and that was such an exhilarating moment. Um, each record has its own challenges, and that first record was definitely monumental. Our next question comes from Pranay Reddy. Uh, before we do that, and how do I feel about going to India? I am very excited to go to India. I've traveled around the world with my racing career. This opportunity to go to India and meet fellow motorcycle enthusiasts from another part of the world is so exciting for me. I'm, I'm very, very excited and I just can't wait. Our next question comes from Prana Reddy and maybe you've already answered this is, which bike did you use to break the world record? Is that the yes, one this one behind me, it's a turbocharged Suzuki Hayabusa. This is what I've set uh, two large world records. This is the one that I got into the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest woman in the world on a motorcycle on. My top speed is 246 miles per hour, and it's been uh, a very valued motorcycle to me. And talking about that top speed, the last question comes from Kaleem Muhammad Abdul. The question is, Wondering what else you have achieved since your 246 miles per hour record. And could I add that I wish to see her ride more miles and enjoy nature to live to my age, 70 plus. God bless her. That's wonderful. It's so inspiring to hear someone who's over 70 years old and riding. I hope to be the same. <laughs>